Hi everybody, it's Mark Shellshear. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from the Shellshear Project in Brisbane, Australia. This week we're dealing with one question I got over the weekend from an artist and we I read the whole question out on Monday and now we're going through it and taking out parts. And this is the part I want to deal with today. I'll read you this part of the question. There are Facebook groups run by successful artists. But again, I know this is for their own benefit that they have these groups, which is great, don't get me wrong, but why are we showcasing to other artists who I don't believe are our collectors? Now look, let's talk about this. I like fa the Facebook artist pages, group pages. I think they're really great, and I think it's a fabulous way to showcase uh, paintings. I think there's some really exceptional groups out there, and I think there's some average groups. But the exceptional ones do a great job and usually are run by administrators and usually come across and give a very professional effect to their group, which is what I like. So um, I don't know whether I should name groups, but some of the groups I really find are exceptional are groups like Fine Art Universal, Acrylic Painting, uh, Art, uh, Art Philippines, um, Get My Art Recognized. These kind of groups are really good groups and they help artists. Now, yes, what is happening on these, uh, these group pages is that artists are showing and mostly artists are the ones looking. So artists are the ones who are commenting, artists are the ones who are sharing, artists are the ones who are liking. On the whole, there are some new collectors coming to these groups. There are no real collectors groups. So it's only in these groups where we see it. Now, I had one artist say to me that they got lots of great comments on their artist, uh, on their painting in one of these groups, lots of comments. And then when they mentioned about selling it, it just dried up, nothing more happened. Well, the reason is, is because artists are commenting and artists are liking, and most times these artists won't buy. But I do believe that more and more collectors will come onto these groups and more and more collectors will buy. Now, I know there are sales already to collectors through these groups. So if you're in a group and you're enjoying the experience, persevere, hang in there. I do believe the day will come when <laughs> excuse me, many collectors will go through these groups. Okay, sales are still best on Facebook and Instagram right now. So they are working. And on Facebook, make sure you tell stories about your paintings. Don't just put up the, the title, the medium, and sometimes the price. Don't just do that. Tell a story, add something, give value. Let the person know that you care about this painting and that you want to put stuff out about it. And also, story tell your life, story tell your artist practice. All these things you should be incorporating into your artist page so that people can connect with you. There is a relationship being built and all that is important. You have to do that. Now, another question is, should I put a price on my painting when I show it, either in artist groups or on my Facebook page or Instagram? Look, uh, it's, uh, it's evenly matched. I have lots of people who say, yes, they put the price on and it works. And I have lots of people who say that doesn't work and I have lots of people who say, well, I ask people to PM me and they come to me and I get the sale and others say that doesn't work. Look, I think what you've got to do is find what works for you. Put the price on, see what response you get. PM, see what response you get and just work it out and see if you can work out what is going to work for you with the people who are looking at your artwork because every artist is different and every collector is different and the people who follow us are different. Remember the people who follow you and love you are there because that, because they love you, because they love your work, because they find what you're doing is exciting and it touches them. People are moved by your art. So that's important. Now, let's get back to the artist groups. Guys, I say let's persevere with artist group pages. I believe in them. I think they're extremely good. And as I name some of them, I think are excellent pages to be on and will give you great value. But remember, if you're going to be on an artist page in a group, support the other artists comment on their pages, like their pages, share, like their paintings, do all these sort of things. And if you can't say something positive, then don't say anything at all. Be positive, 
always have something good to say, always be the one to, to make a comment that's positive, that's uplifting, that's supportive, and gives that artist the desire and will to go on, because that's what it's about. We need to support each other, we need to get with people on these pages, and we need to talk about their art and thank them and do all those kind of things, because we want people to do that for us. And the old golden rule, remember, if you want someone to do it for you, you better do it for them first. Okay, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So important in this day and age and on the internet and on Facebook and on these group pages. And yes, I like artist group pages. I think they're great. And I love to see the really good ones because they're doing great job for artists. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope that helps. Hey, put some comments down below. Give me your ideas, give me your thoughts on this. Let's get a conversation going here because I'm, I'm sure there's many views out there. Okay, you have a fabulous day. Remember people are hurting out there. Hugs and smiles and free. Give them away generously. And I'm gonna to talk to you tomorrow. We're gonna to go on with this question. Have a great day. Ciao.